HP have refreshed the ZBook Firefly mobile workstation for 2024 with new Intel Meteor Lake and AMD Ryzen 8040HS processors, as well as NVIDIA RTX A500 GPU and 2.8K OLED display options. Available in 14 and 16 inch models, is it a winning combination or a pie in the sky? Let's find out. <music> Starting at 1.79 kilograms or 3.95 pounds, the 16-inch Firefly G11 design hasn't changed much from the previous version, covered in a business-like silver colour, only broken by the dark grey display bezels. The chassis is fairly slim looking with curved corners. It's not the lightest to hold in one hand as the dimensions are deep to house the 16x10 screen. The aluminium case leaves a high quality impression and is also very stable, with minor flexing on the keyboard deck. The display cover is pretty stable too with a small amount of flexing providing excellent protection to the screen. The G11 has the usual military standard 810H certification passing extreme testing environments. There's two rubber strips underneath to aid in sucking in cold air to the large vent for better thermals. The Firefly 16 G11 has good green credentials. Here's a list of the recycled materials used. Loosen the five captive P1 Phillips head screws. Note the top right screw is hidden by a cover. Puncture the cover to reveal the screw and loosen. From the top of the cover, pry open with a plastic tool. Pull the tabs on the memory shield to reveal the two memory sodium slots, up to 64GB DDR5 in dual channel mode. To reveal the M.2 SSD slot, pull the tabs on the M.2 storage shield and lift up. The wireless LAN and wireless WAN cards are both removable. The 56 watt hour battery can also be replaced. While the 14 and 16 inch models feature similar hardware, it is worth noting that only ZBook Firefly G11 16 inch laptops will be available with an optional 2.8K OLED display. The 14-inch models will have greater processor choices. It will be possible to configure the ZBook Firefly 14 G11 with up to an Intel Core Ultra 7 165H or AMD Ryzen 9 Pro 8945HS. The Firefly 16 is limited to Intel processors. Both sizes will come with optional NVIDIA RTX A500 Pro GPUs. Naturally, with its compact dimensions, the Firefly 14 doesn't come with a numeric keypad, weighing in at 1.5 4 1 kilograms or 3.11 pounds. It feels sturdy like the 16 inch model but naturally lighter to carry around with you. This review model has a 16 inch diagonal WUXGA 1920 by 1200 IPS anti glare display panel. Color accuracy is rated at 100% sRGB, good enough for a spot of Photoshop or Lightroom editing. Brightness is rated at 400 nits, great for viewing indoors and okay for outdoor shady areas. The display is ideal for productivity work. The anti glare coating works fine to reduce glare and the IPS has great viewing angles. The maximum opening angle is around 170 degrees, not quite flat, and the hinges are well adjusted. It is possible to open the lid with one hand without any problems. Tip, there are other display options available, including an OLED panel, 400 nits and 100% DCI P3, a HP Shoreview display for integrated privacy screen and a touchscreen panel. Here's a list of the display options. On the left, we have a HDMI 2.1, USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second, two Thunderbolt 4, with USB Type-C 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery display port 1.4, and an optional smart card reader. On the right side, we have a headphone microphone combo jack, one super speed USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second signaling rate, Kensington Nano security lock, and an optional LTE 5G SIM slot. Inside is an Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless combo card. Wireless connectivity was strong and reliable throughout testing. Bluetooth connected successfully to external mouse or speaker. Some Firefly G11 models have an optional HP 4G LTE A Pro Cat16 W1 eSIM or HP 5G Sub6 Cat19 W1 eSIM module for mobile connectivity, great for travelers. The HP Premium Quiet keyboard is spill resistant with a drain hole, has full size keys and two level backlighting. The keyboard is one of the best on the market. Excellent tactile feedback, nicely spaced out large keys allowing you to touch type rapidly with composure. New in 2024, is the Copilot key. Press this to launch the Microsoft Copilot window for AI features. The F12 customizable key allows you to open a file, app, folder, or web address. Naturally, on the larger 16 inch Firefly, it has a numeric keypad, whereas the smaller 14 inch doesn't. The large click pad with multi touch gesture support, taps enabled as default, is made of smooth glass material, giving a comfortable finger gliding action for long periods. The integrated mouse buttons are tactile, accurate, and quiet when depressed. The dual downward firing stereo speakers are tuned 
designed by Polish Studio and paired with dual array digital microphones. Sound from the speakers is surprisingly good. Nice balanced mids and highs, a sprinkle of bass and warm vocals. Volume gets loud but stays focused, filling a medium room. Great for video conferencing and playing some background music while catching up with your emails. Here are some audio samples. The 5 megapixel webcam and IR sensor is housed in the thin bezel at the top of the display. Video quality is excellent from the webcam. Good color accuracy, crisp and sharp images in decent lighting conditions. Helped by the AI Fairy using Windows Studio FX. A great webcam for daily video conferencing with your colleagues. This review model has an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H based on the Meteor Lake architecture. A total of 16 cores, 6 performance cores running for between 1.4 to 4.8 gigahertz, 8 efficient cores running between between 900 megahertz and 3.8 gigahertz and two low power efficient cores running between 700 megahertz and 2.5 gigahertz a total of 22 threads processor base power is 28 watts up to 115 watts maximum turbo power along with a stick of 32 gigabytes ddr5 5600 megahertz ram in single channel mode and one terabyte pcie nvme ssd the g11 flies through apps that professional creators and entry-level workstation users would work on overall performance has been excellent with Office productivity tools, Adobe programs like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, or using Visual Studio for coding workflows. For a performance test, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mainstream testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the ZBook Firefly 16G11. Here is a comparison with the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Gen 8 using the AMD Radeon 780M iGPU. The Intel Core Ultra 7 155H sits just below the AMD Ryzen 7 8840HS and the Intel Core i7 1370P and just above the AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS in general benchmarking scores. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 60 Celsius, CPU clock speed is around 2 gig gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz on the P cores and 1.6 to 1.9 gigahertz on the E cores and around 8 to 10 watts CPU power. The fan stays silent. The left of the keyboard hits 35 Celsius and 36 Celsius by the top vents. Chassis is barely warm to the touch. With video playback balance mode, the Ultra 7 155H CPU temperature fluctuates between 62 to 80 Celsius, 2 to 3 gigahertz on the P cores and 1.5 to 2 gigahertz on the E cores. CPU power is on average 10 to 15 watts. The single fan spins up but it's virtually quiet at up to 35 decibels. The temperature at the top vents is 39 Celsius and 38 Celsius at the center left of the keyboard. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 2.6 to 3.5 gigahertz P calls, 1 to 2.5 gigahertz on the E calls. CPU temperature is around 100 Celsius on average and CPU power is constant at 60 watts. The fans do kick faster and louder up to 52.4 decibels. Temperatures around the top vents are 41 Celsius and 39 Celsius at the center left of the keyboard. In battery mode, best performance idle, CPU temperature fluctuates around 60 Celsius, 20 watts CPU power, 1 to 2 gigahertz on E calls, 2 to 4 gigahertz on the P calls. Fans stay silent at 32.6 decibels, 28 Celsius at most chassis temperature and 31 Celsius at the top vents. The fan is humming low in the background, 36 decibels at most. Same can be said when running the Blender benchmarking tool under battery mode, best performance, 2.16 gigahertz on P calls, 1.78 gigahertz on the E calls, 
80 to 100 Celsius CPU temperature, 20 to 40 watts CPU power, 42.1 decibels on the fan, 38 to 39 Celsius on chassis temperature, and 40 Celsius by the top vents. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP ZBook Firefly 16G11. Office power users, creators, architects and designers, data scientists. Inside the G11 is an integrated Intel Arc graphics with 8 X cores running at a max dynamic frequency of 2.25 GHz, based on the XE LPG architecture with 8 ray tracing units, 8 samplers and 4 pixel backends. TGP is rated at 28 watts. The Arc 8 cores iGPU is just behind the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2050 and on par with the AMD Radeon 780M. Shared GPU memory 16 gigabytes. For a bit more graphical grunt, there's a discrete NVIDIA RTX A500 laptop GPU with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 dedicated memory. It is based on the GA107 Ampere chip and offers a slower performance than the GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU. The main benefit over the iGPU is CUDA compatibility. The Arc 8 core iGPU delivers a more significant gaming improvement than expected over the slower Iris XE iGPU in previous generations. It's capable of playing many late latest games at 1080p resolution in low to medium settings. You will struggle however with heavy hitters like Cyberpunk 2077. Here are some gaming samples. HP have added an extensive list of security features to the Firefly 16. A fingerprint sensor for authentication, IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition, a webcam privacy shutter slider to shut out prying eyes, a TPM 2.0 embedded security chip, and a nano security slot. On the software front, HP have pre-installed HP Wolf Pro Security Edition for malware and threat containment. Inside the G11 is a 6L 76 watt hour battery. With video playback, full screen, balance mode, 40% brightness, battery life was eight and a half hours. Running PC Mark 10 Office Productivity Testing like a power user. Balance mode 40% brightness. Battery life was nearly 6 hours. Expect around 2 to 3 hours if you run heavy taxing apps. With light to medium usage of Office Productivity Tools, expect a full working day before charging. Included is a 100 watt USB Type-C power adapter. It supports battery fast charge, approximately 50% in 30 minutes. The good, the bad and the really bad. Arc goodness. The 8 core iGPU easily doubles its performance from the slower predecessor the Iris XE, most noticeable in gaming where it's vastly superior with most modern titles running smoothly in low to medium settings. Arguably the gap between the Arc and the king of iGPUs, the AMD Radeon 780M has been reduced, which is a positive direction for Intel. Good inputs. If you type a lot and need a numeric keypad, the Firefly 16 keyboard and large touchpad will be right at home. Excellent tactile, spaced out keys for rapid touch typing. The glass touchpad is smooth and perfect for using during long periods. Impressive IOs. Plenty of ports in the G11 to save carrying a docking adapter. Two fast Thunderbolt 4s, two USB Type-A ports and a HDMI port. Only bugbear, no SD card reader. Big and bulky. 16-inch laptops aren't particularly portable compared to their 14-inch siblings. The big and bulky dimensions are the trade-offs 
for a larger screen and additional keypad if you're working coding or finance. Slow USB Type-A. Why in 2024 is HP still using the slower USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second port when we should be using USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabits per second ports instead, especially in the expensive mobile workstation? A500, really? In general benchmarking scores, the A500 is 11% behind the integrated Intel Arc 8 core iGPU. Strange choice as this is meant to be the discrete GPU with more performance than the integrated graphics. In fact, all of our benchmarks ran in the Arc 8 core, whereas the a500 was limited by the low 4GB GDDR6 memory. I would argue that the better starting choice would be the NVIDIA RTX A1000 instead. Overlap Category the G11 base model starts at $1,380 or $1,757, all the way to $2,040 or $2,600 including taxes. This overlaps into its cousin, the HP ZBook Power G11, with superior dedicated graphics options. On the other side, we have the EliteBook 860 G11 with similar pricing and specs, leading to the question, if you don't need dedicated graphics, do you go for the EliteBook 860? If you do need graphical power, do you buy the ZBook Power G11 instead? There's healthy competition in the 16-inch mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the HP ZBook Firefly 16 G11? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Position 3590 2024. Lenovo ThinkPad P16S Gen 3 16-inch Intel. HP ZBook Power G11. Asus VivoBook S16 OLED S5606. Acer SwiftGo 16 2024. MSI Prestige 16 AI Studio B1V HP EliteBook 860G11 the HP ZBook Firefly 16 G11 has a plethora of hardware and display options to meet the needs of people who might usually purchase a LeapBook but require a certified discrete graphics for light to medium workflows. The tried and tested chassis is solid and sturdy. There's good upgradability and I.O. options. The excellent keyboard and touchpad is married to a tasty 5 megapixel webcam backed by some useful AI dust in Windows Studio effects. Performance is good in the 155H CPU and the Intel Arc RTX A500 combo. Naturally, if you want something more compact, there's a 14-inch model for those who prefer a smaller display and no numeric keypad. The Firefly 16 G11 doesn't do much wrong if you are after a portable workstation that can handle productivity, 2D and light 3D workloads. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook Firefly 16 G11 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.